Hi guys, welcome to another Asus Transformer Prime video. Today's video is just uh, showing you the environment I currently live in with my uh, tablet. Um, sometimes I share the home screen and I quickly go onto an application or something and it may leave you wondering, oh, what was that wallpaper or what was that launcher or what was that application or widget that I saw. So I just wanted to give you a sort of introduction to the um, launcher and the uh, applications and widgets that I use on a regular basis. So uh, let's just go through everything I use at the moment. Uh, this is my home screen. Uh, I only actually use two screens on the tablet at the moment, one for showing emails and uh, a few social network things, and then the main page which has some news, uh, a lot of my uh, applications and folders, and then a few widgets here just to display some general information. Uh, the background actually is just a wallpaper that I um, got from an application. Uh, I've been using a lot of live wallpapers, but uh, sometimes they interfere with the camera a little bit and um, uh, sometimes they crash some on occasions or they just don't look right depending on how the live wallpaper is changing to time of day and so on. So I downloaded this um, picture that I quite like and I simply got it from a application called uh, Read It Mac, I think, and what I selected on here was uh, you have a couple of options down here and I selected Earth Porn um, as the category and I just picked one of these pictures that I liked uh, let's see that picture seems okay and so I downloaded it I think I actually had to use the I button here to launch it into a browser and then from the browser I could um, do a long press on it and then save the image and then use the image as a backdrop so that's my wallpaper at the moment uh, looking at these uh, pictures in the top left hand corner uh, this is a glass widget I'll put all the links to the um, com on the comment section of the video but this is a glass widget uh, which actually has a few options it can look at the um, weather you can do news stories and um, I can't remember what the other one is um, it's a calendar that you can do but if I press on it it would just uh, give me the forecast there uh, in the middle of the screen uh, as you can see there and if I actually press on the clock I could actually do some setup and uh, get the clock working and the location how I want it to work so that's just a simple widget that I'm using there this one here is a dual battery widget which I use obviously to display the keyboard and the tablet battery and as you can see it's charging at the moment uh, that little one there is a kill um, applications it shows how much RAM you have available and if I can zoom in a little bit more I will press it and see if you can notice that the uh, it's just a little message down there which just disappeared but it says that um, it killed 19 applications and now my RAM is up to 650 shortcut to my settings uh, this is the Asus email widget which I've actually shrunk um, one of the things that this launcher that I'm using called Go Launcher uh, HD it allows me to actually uh, modify the size of a widget so usually it would be that size but I hated the fact that you had this dead space here so I shrank it down to uh, one widget size and then just fit it in there uh, this one just tells me um, how many subscribers and views I've had thank you very much for uh, how you um, influence that and increase the amount just go down to the bottom of the screen here uh, two, two widgets from uh, slightly different applications that I love to use this is a news widget that just gives me information on tech news and it's from Appy Geek, an exceptional application if I just press on that it should launch me into the Appy Geek and give me the story that I've just pressed on um, wonderful application, highly recommend it and this is its sister application News Republic which gives you more than just um, technology news, it gives you news on sports or uh, UK news for me or world news, whatever you want to choose really it's quite a flexible application when you set it up you can do a, a number of different things with it moving on to the right hand side uh, here I just have a lot of folders which launch into tech news, book readers, uh, productivity and reference and so on so that's just a general area where I'm putting all my icons really MX video down there obviously that's the video player that I always recommend because it's a wonderful uh, gesture where you can move it across the entire screen 
and chase things. And of course, that's uh, in, an, in another video if you want to check that one out. And then down at the bottom, this is the real uh, crux of how good Go Launcher is as a um, as a launcher. If I move on to another screen, the dock stays there, so I have all my favourite applications down here. And you can actually, if you want, uh, make that dock disappear. If I just scroll down on a dead base of a home screen, you'll see that the dock disappears, and then I can just gesture back up and the dock appears. So you can hide the dock if you want to. So I've got YouTube, um, Google Currents I just put there for another video, a Dolphin Browser, uh, my book reader, BBC, and so on. Moving on to the second page, um, uh, this is a Facebook... Uh, widget called Color Eyes, which I use for just quick uh, Facebook information. Uh, it's pretty good on the home screen, but unfortunately, if I um, go into the uh, story, the actual application behind it is a bit rubbish. Uh, it's obviously it does show the actual uh, status update in there in the top corner, but it's um, not very useful uh, tablet-wise. I've just downloaded Tweetcaster which is a, another widget which I really like and I uh, actually like the interface of the whole application uh, which is pretty good uh, so I'm experimenting with Tweetcaster at the moment. The one problem is that it doesn't seem to uh, update very well because I'm sure that some of those stories are more than a few minutes ago. Um, as you can see Colorize just updated there which is nice of that um, widget. I want to try and get Framecaster but it doesn't work on the Asus Transformer Prime or it's not working on my tablet so if anyone can test it and see why I can't um, install it to accept the permissions, it always gets stuck at that point, uh, let me know. And these two widgets are just email widgets, one for Gmail and one for uh, Internet um, Yahoo that came with the Transformer Prime and you just have to set it up in there. So uh, it just leads me to say that I am using the Go Launcher HD, which is an exceptional launcher, still in beta. So hopefully they're going to make some better transitions so I can make that transition from one screen to another look better. But in terms of being able to resize widgets, which is a brilliant option, uh, it doesn't matter how big the widget actually is, this application will let it resize you to anything you want and um, adding new widgets and stuff is very intuitively done through this screen. So that's a whistle-stop tour of my Asus Transformer Prime. I know out there there are some exceptional looking uh, launches where you can have it turned into a Metro UI um, looking launcher and there's also the ADW launcher which allows you to put sort of word um, icons and it looks all very jazzy but uh, I just haven't been bothered to try and set that up and um, I believe some of them require roots as well and I haven't rooted my um, tablet yet either. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, again, I'll leave all the um, information about everything I've touched on in this um, little tour of my tablet in the uh, comment section below. But if you want to add your own or suggest any widgets or applications that I can try, then maybe I'll give them a go and add them to my tablet. Thanks for watching again everyone, I'll see you again soon in another video. In the meantime, please view, like, subscribe and all the things every other YouTuber says about their videos. See you later everyone.